access to information on another level. For, but you can get some pretty interesting information. And as I show you, you can send, send them on the net also. So for instance, you can combine the previous one with this one. OK, I am in this one. And here I say, OK, let's do a post request on Google. OK, Google's telling me I'm not allowed to do a post, but that's fine. Because you can imagine, for instance, to embed the, JavaScript, the previous JavaScript to gather information and then extract this information to an attacker website. OK. So the main difference between uh, using Acrobat into a plugin or into a file like this one is the warning. And usually, you don't want to have the warning because you want your attack to be silent. So for instance, if I open this connection, you see I've got some warning telling me, hey, this PDF is trying to connect to a blah, blah, blah. OK, just for the fun of it, let's say do it. And in this PDF, I just connect to another PDF and say, OK, download it. And it's immediately open. And this one use the launch action, action I told you about, <coughs> which starts <coughs> the calculate. But each time, you see, you've got a warning. So mainly, security in Adobe is based on white leaks, white list, black leaks, black list, and warnings. So mainly, you have to trust users, which of course you do. OK. Uh, you can set some information about the plugin on ways to display the PDF and so on, but we don't care about them. OK. Let's get to, a, to another point. Now you want to use a PDF uh, to get information. So there are two ways. Either you want to protect the information inside the PDF, or either you want to extract the information into the PDF. Let's go into that. Let's say I'm a bad guy, and I want to write a virus, and uh, I want to send a bad PDF to someone. So I'd like to have the payload executed as fast as possible. Which is fine with PDF is that you have usually lots of ways to do the same things. So here are four ways to, uh, to trigger an event as soon as the PDF is open. Uh, what is quite funny is that the, one year ago, the open action was really, really intensively used. And since six to eight months now, the last ways with the slash names is really used. And you can find, and I'll show you an example, some PDF which still use both of them, but the first one is broken. So I wondered, OK, is it really easy to use a PDF to hide uh, a virus? Because OK, there are many ways to uh, trigger the event. There are many ways to encode PDF. So is it easy to, um, to, uh, to use a PDF to do bad things with uh, bad contents? So I took the ACAR file, the ACAR test file for the antivirus, and uh, I submitted it to VirusTotal. And the first result was 5 out of 41 antivirus could detect it. I don't know why. I must not why. They are all supposed to detect it, but they didn't. Then uh, I just do a simple manipulation. I compressed the uh, ACAR file, and I applied a filter on the ACAR file. So when the PDF will be open, <coughs> the filter will be executed on the compressed file, which will then be decompressed and executed. So I submitted this PDF to the virus total again. And uh, this time, we also get uh, five antivirus uh, detecting it, but it's not the same. So uh, I think it's Otanium, yeah? Could not detect it anymore. OK, that's fine. But what is funny also is that uh, it's Virus Buster. It could not detect the original one, but the original one, but it could detect the compressed version. I didn't get too much into that. But then I tried to chain several filters. Uh, and with uh, three filters, as you can see here, only two out of 41 could detect it. And then I encrypted the file, and uh, still the two uh, same antivirus could detect it. But in fact, the detection is very general. You say, OK, here there is something suspicious. Thank you for your help. OK, now let's take a real life example. So I get a malicious PDF in the wild, and I submit it to a virus total. And results are fortunately better since, since it's uh, 11 out of 41. But as soon as you encrypt the PDF file with an empty password, the, res the results drop to 1 to 41. 
don't ask me what, uh, which one it was, I can't remember. Uh, so when the PDF is, oh, by the way, uh, this works only with type 4 encryption I told you about earlier. With type 5 encryption, you, can't, you can no more use empty password. So if you encrypt a PDF file with uh, type 4, you can put an empty password and it will be decrypted automatically when you open the file. So it's a very nice way to conceal uh, whatever you want. Okay, so it's easy to hide a virus into a PDF. That's not much of a surprise. Okay, let's, let's do the, the, the nice guy now. I receive a PDF. I'd like to know what's happened in this one. So in fact, since I learned for one year to speak PDF and to write PDF, uh, mainly there are four, five uh, things to look at. The structure of the PDF itself. It means how many objects are inside. Uh, are they using object streams? Are, are they using many things like that? So you look at that. Then we also look at the properties, what we call the properties of the file. Is it encrypted? Does it contain uh, attachment, for instance? We also looked at, uh, looked at the various way to trigger events, so additional action or open action, things like that. And uh, are there some actions available in this PDF? Because if there are action, it means the PDF is dynamic, and as soon as it's dynamic, there is probably an issue. So the first, uh, the first ID was very stupid. We took a PDF, and we do pattern matching inside the PDF. But before doing that, we need to sanitize it. So that's the first part of uh, uh, the, library, the library we, we, we wrote. It was able to sanitize the PDF. Then we can do pattern matching quite uh, easily. So here is the output. Uh, you see that we use the en encrypted version here of uh, the PDF. Because in fact, when a PDF is encrypted, not the whole file is encrypted. Uh, only the strings and the content of strings are, encrypt are, are encrypted. Strings are, for instance, data for an image, text for a page, and things like that. But all, the, um, all that makes the PDF itself is not encrypted. So for instance, slash uh, open action will not be encrypted. It will, be, it will stay in clear text, so you're still able to analyze it. So here, it tells me the PDF is encrypted. OK, that's true. There is one open action and one name, and two JavaScript in this file. OK, this fast scan based on pattern matching is really fast. So it tells me maybe there is something you should look deeper into this file. OK, but the pattern matching is really easy to defeat. Uh, the best way is to use encryption, of course, but I told you you could uh, still understand what is in uh, the PDF. So there is a wonderful object in a PDF language, which, which is called an object stream. So an object stream is a stream which contains PDF objects. But if you, use, if you are using an object stream on an encrypted PDF, I told you earlier, that the content, the content of a stream will be encrypted. So the content of the object stream, that is the PDF itself, will be encrypted then the pattern matching cannot, match, it cannot work anymore. So using object, stream, object streams plus encryption, you, have almost, you can uh, almost hide everything you want into a PDF. So still with our uh, library, we are able to read object streams and to part them because, uh, in fact, we instantiate each object we read into the PDF file. So this is really, really slow but you get the exact match on the object in the files. So if we go back to this file, uh, this time you see the only difference is here. In fact, there is only one JavaScript. So it's time to get into the PDF itself. Here you see in green the open action. So as I told you, this trick was used, was used something like one year ago to trigger a bad JavaScript usually. Uh, with this. PDF I analyzed, what, what is fun is that, in fact, the open action here points to object number three. And this object, in fact, is a page. So it's not supposed to happen. So the open action here does absolutely nothing. So the guy who created this malicious PDF probably forgot to erase this or just don't know what it means. But you see the new tricks about the name. And if you follow here to the uh, object number six, which is a JavaScript, we go here and see that object six is names. OK, we knew about that. This names is encrypted because it's a string I told you about. And it, get, it gets a reference to object number seven. Object no number seven here is the real JavaScript. As it's a stream, it's encrypted. 
but you know there is something which is really bad in this file, so you shouldn't definitely not.